In this video, we're going to demo how to assemble an e-bike motor kit from electricrider.com. We'll go step by step from a bare bike all the way to installing the components. We'll be installing a rear Phoenix 2 motor kit on a mountain bike. Both front and rear kits are equally easy to install. All right, so let's get started. First, we'll gather our tools. We'll then remove all the accessories and flip the bike over. Remove your wheel. Release the air all the way out. If you have a slime tube, prop the wheel so that the valve is on top and allow gravity to move the slime to the bottom of the wheel. Now we'll grab our tire levers to remove the tube and tire. Transfer any components from one wheel to the other. In this example, I transfer the disc brake. We'll insert the valve from the tube first and place the tire around the rim Try not to pinch the tube. We will work around the rim and press in the tire. Grab a pair of tire levers and complete the tire insulation. Confirm that the tire is fully seated on the rim. We'll inflate the tire to 30 psi and then quickly deflate the tire to fix any wrinkles or folds in the tube. Lastly, inflate to full pressure. Confirm that the axle fits. If not, you may need to use a file. Install the wheel. In this demo, the bike is upside down, so the wire from the motor should point up. This is to prevent rain from seeping into the hub. We'll start with a washer, then put on the lock washer, and lastly, the nut. Grab your 19mm crescent wrench and torque down the nuts. Use common sense. Do not over torque and do not under torque or else you'll destroy the motor. Install a rear rack to store the battery. Here are some examples to where you can mount the controller. Remove both hand grips with a twist pull motion. Install brake levers and readjust your cable length. Now we'll install the throttle. Grab a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench.
First goes the throttle, then the spacer, and lastly the grip. Firmly press in the grip, then slide the throttle over, then tighten the 2.5mm screw down to hold the throttle in place. We don't want the throttle to get stuck, so confirm that it's able to move freely. Now let's mount the APM display unit. Connect all the wiring from the motor, throttle, APM unit, and brake, and lastly, the battery. Switch the controller to on. Enjoy the ride.